Hello, my name is Mariana and this is a quick video that I'm doing here for you just to um, give a little bit of an explanation why I haven't posted in a week. And to be honest, this is something that, you know, I have been thinking a lot lately about because even if it's only a week or, you know, maybe that's a lot, uh, this time perception of mine has been maybe recalibrated is the right word or the most appropriate word because I feel like in just a week so much has happened and I feel like that 22nd of August when you know, I completed one year of tarot readings here on YouTube. I feel like that was not only a celebration of, you know, everything that happened since that 22nd of August, 2021, the blue full moon, um, but the blue full moon in Aquarius. Um, but it's also, I feel like some sort of preparation for this next cycle, maybe for this next year or for the next phase, the next chapter. And I was pretty much looking forward and I was, you know, um, rushing into, you know, what's next and the extended and the new format and how it's going to be and everything that this you know, one year completion has made me look at was actually like, like this great review of this past year, right? The past um, eight months, the past 12 months. And it's weird because, you know, it's not been that long that I recorded a video here for you. Uh, but it feels like a long time has passed because it's almost like I have been uh, taken or I was, you know, um, seeing everything that happened since that 22nd of August, 2021. And so much has changed, so much. And I feel like this week that I have been absent you know, from doing readings, from recording videos, it's just because like it's this internal recalibration since so much has happened, right? And I feel like so much is still about to happen, which is the unknown, right? It's like knocking into the door of the unknown, but also, you know, being extremely grateful for the path that I had traveled to come to this point. And so I'm feeling like I am going through like this readjustment phase because everything that I was rushing into starting this new beginning, right? Um, suddenly like stalled or there were obstacles that I just didn't know how to work through them and I'm still working through them, specifically with Vimeo. Um, and I know it's just like maybe the universe saying to me that, you know, allowing me some time so that every sort of, you know, me can adjust and adapt to this new chapter. And so something that I have been, you know, thinking a lot and meditating a lot upon, you know, through this uh, past week is it's almost like a mantra or like uh, affirmations that I have learned from my yoga teacher um, a few years ago now. And whenever I feel like, you know, I'm in the fork of the road or I'm in a situation where I don't really know what to do and maybe it's out of my control and all that I have to do is wait because everything that I could do, I've done already. Um, so, you know, in order also to control my anxiety, um, I thought, you know, it would be nice to record this video for you to give this explanation, but also, you know, to add to the Something Different series where, you know, 
I don't know, maybe little bits of uh, things that I've learned or wisdom that I have, you know, uh, acquired throughout the years and that have been uh, really, really helpful to me and to share them with you. And so because this past week has been a really interesting one, a very fast moving yet slow moving at the same time, things happening, but also conclusions happening. It's all over the place, right? Um, so I have been repeating this mantra for me. And maybe if you are going through a week where you're having this, um, I don't know, readaptation of your routine, or maybe, you know, some sort of recalibration of the perception of time in your life and how things are unfolding for you. So maybe this can be helpful to you too. So the mantra is, I'm going to say it in Portuguese first because it's how I've learned it and how I repeat to myself, but then I'm going to translate it somewhat similarly or how I would, you know, uh, translate it in a way that is, um, I don't know, easy to perceive or easy to absorb and repeat. So in Portuguese, the mantra is Eu entrego, eu confio, eu aceito e eu agradeço. So in English, this would be I surrender, I trust, I accept, and I am thankful. And so these four verbs, these four actions, these four state, states of mind or states of being, they really do calm my spirit. And I feel like, you know, specifically this order of how things unfold, it's almost like my declaration to the universe that I surrender to the wisdom and to the truth of the universe that knows way beyond me. And then when I trust in that, is that I know that my imagination, maybe it's not so fertile as the incredible creativity of the universe. So I trust in the highest good that is, you know, waiting for me. And then I accept exactly what comes to me and whatever shows itself to me and comes my way, then I am really, really grateful to accept it and to receive it. So this is the video for today. Uh, I don't know exactly when I'm going to, you know, resolve these issues with Vimeo and, uh, you know, to finally start this new phase of, you know, the first part of the readings being here uh, posted freely on YouTube and then the extendeds, uh, you know, available for purchase on Vimeo. So. I'm still waiting and I am, you know, open to receive whatever has to come and whenever it has to come. Um, just, I'm just saying to the universe, I'm ready whenever you are. <laughs> so uh, I hope you can uh, bear with me because I don't know when this is going to be, uh, but I feel like I have to wait, right, to start this new cycle as I did when I started with the Aquarius reading with the blue full moon in Aquarius back in 2021. So yeah, I'm just following my intuition in this and I hope that's all good for you. And whenever everything is ready to be, you know, just to be started in a way, then I'll be back here with the readings. So. I hope also this mantra helps you in your life, in your day to day with whatever situation you are, um, maybe having some issues or maybe some anxiety and yeah, I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye.